Hi, I'm Nancy Guppy. Now, as many of you know, there are lots of great local festivals in Seattle. We've got Bumbershoot, uh, Folk Life, The Bite for those of us who like to eat. But there's a newer festival that you might not be as familiar with, so I want to give you a couple of clues. Okay, this festival is three years old. It kicks off about the first day of spring. It runs for three weeks, which makes it the largest vaudeville festival in the world. And it all takes place in this unassuming warehouse, which is located in the center of the universe, Fremont. So how did the Moisture Festival, a full-blown vaudevillian variety show, land in the Hales Brewery warehouse? Well, two days before opening night, we corralled the festival founders to find out. Many years ago, I had attended the Oregon Country Fair. Quick side note, the Oregon Country Fair is apparently all that and more. Get the full lowdown at OregonCountryFair.org. And now, back to the action. Many years ago, I had attended the Oregon Country Fair and seen Ron Bailey and Buchanan Bo perform. And it inspired me to become a performer and, and get into doing various odds and ends, Cirque du Flambe and all those things. And I really wanted to see Vaudeville take off in Seattle. I talked to Ron about four years ago, and Ron and I both had the same dream. All of us kind of rendezvous at the Oregon Country Fair and have for years, probably 25 years. And let's see, like maybe 15 years ago, hockey came to the Oregon Country Fair. And then I was invited to Berlin for the first year that hockey did a comedy variety festival. And then seeing what he did in 1996 in Berlin, we thought, you know, we should do this in Seattle. I was sitting over at Tim First House and with Ron Bailey and they were having a bottle of wine and the idea started to fly. More and more of our friends were having to go to Europe to perform because there are no good venues for variety theatre in the US. And we're like, well how can we bring this here? How can we do this here? And about three years ago we actualized it in a small tent in Fremont. Which was a wonderful atmosphere in the tent but very expensive, it turned out, to pay for the heat. We sort of lost our shirts on. We were not very savvy about the business of it. And we were, we had one person come in who said, gosh, this is great. And it turned out to be Mike Hale. When he saw what we were doing, he said, you guys need a bigger place. Come look at my place. They, they sort of eyeballed this warehouse, said, whoa, and our eyes got big. And, and I say, oh, you think, uh, well, maybe we could do that. It's this great room, you know, all the, the wood beams, it creates a great sound, yeah. That turned everything around, that made money for the artists, that paid for all the expenses, and here we are today, just about to start the third one. You take a beer warehouse and turn off the high bay lights and light it softly, put those performers in there with their costumes and, and stuff, and it just transforms it into this kind of a, really magical spot where this is happening. One raindrop fell into the river. The lucky thing is that we have so many artist friends who love this kind of entertainment and they've really contributed so much to help us pull it off. But we don't really have the money to pay these guys what they get when they go do a show on their own. But they're excited that it's happening. We're so fortunate that they're willing to do it. Just for the fun of it is really what it is. Uh, we are Dr. Calamari and Acrophilia. Uh -huh. And we perform with Circus Contraption here in Seattle and elsewhere. Is it hard to do. For the flyer, which is my part, the person who is up on top of the base, um, actually to begin with they're terrifying and that's part of the challenge is to conquer that fear and make it look like you're not afraid. <laughs> so you're married? Yes, yes we, we are married. married. So yes. how does that play into this interesting interaction on stage? Uh, well, I think it helps, actually. You know, this is all about trust. And that's one reason why we learned acrobalancing is so that we could do something interesting and fun and creative together. Is it family friendly? Absolutely, apart from the late night shows. Mm -hmm. the, well, let's the, talk about the late night shows. Valesque has uh, a little bit more risque. And now, ladies and gentlemen, by special request, some of the most fabulous dancers in Seattle. It's not nudity, it's very tongue in cheek. Please welcome to the stage the Florida again, Ken Ken Go! Very playful, 
The Lesk also has a lot of roots with comedy and skits. There's also a very strong burlesque community here in Seattle. The Von Foxies, Wade Matson, Ultra, just to name a few. Is there kind of a mission, would you say, to the Moisture Festival? What you're trying to, to accomplish or trying to... Make them laugh. <laughs> Make them happy, yeah. They all leave out the door with huge Cheshire cat grins on. So we're doing <laughs> our job if that's what we do, yeah. Fabulous, all of it, very enjoyable. We loved it a lot. I like the juggling myself, but it's all great. Yeah, it's a great show. Fantastic, very funny, lively, surprising. It was great. Good for kids, too. Reserve your seat for the wildly fun moisture festival running now through April 9th. For the full schedule and ticket information, go to moisturefestival.com or brownpapertickets.com.